Hey everybody, I'm Tim Hugh with Enrique Sanchez of 1502 Cigars, and you're watching Cigars Daily. I want to invite you guys to get more out of this video when you watch it on CigarsDailyPlus.com, our new content website. We're always working to make it better on Cigars Daily Plus, and in this video, we what are we smoking here, Enrique? Tell them. Oh, ahorita estamos fumando un 1502 Nicaragua. Oh, okay. Oh, so. Lo siento. Uh, yo hablo un pequeño <laughs> español y uh, otra persona estamos gringos. <laughs> We're all gringos in this group. This Sorry for that, Felas. You know, it's always getting a little bit confused with, with the language. You know, Spanish and English. And besides, you know, my English is not that perfect. So, you know, Spanish is always good for me sometimes. I'll say, working in the cigar industry, I've seen many varying levels of English. And it's not bad. Your English is not bad. <laughs> well, you should tell, tell, tell that to my wife. She always called me Ricky Ricardo. Like, that makes you Lucy. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about this cigar well, we just lit up. We are, I actually enjoy right now the 1502 Nicaragua. And I always said, you cannot get more Nicaragua than this because the many reasons. Not only because it's made in Nicaragua, not only because it said 1502 Nicaragua, but this is one of the beauty. It has tobacco for all the four regions that we grow tobacco in Nicaragua. So you got Jalapa, Condega, Esteli, Ometepe, all blending one. And, and that's the, the key part. None of the region actually stands out. It's Nicaragua as one. So you cannot get more Nicaragua in this. That's fantastic. And I'll tell you, your passion for your brand and for your blends is key right here because I am going to attack your brand right now. So oh. I hope you are ready for this. All here's right, here's ready. how this works. There you go. I'm going to play the part of the concerned cigar connoisseur, one that you might meet at a shop as you travel around and ask you some pointed questions of about course. your brand and give you the chance to answer to everybody. And it'll let people know sort of what your brand's really about. So are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Mr. Sanchez, very concerned about some things that I see when it comes to 1502. There's so many brands out there today and everybody's trying to get their brand on the shelf and into my humidor at my house. What the hell is a 1502? Why is the brand just some numbers? Like, it wasn't there a better name to connect it with people? Tell me where you landed on this name for your brand. Well, to be honest, uh, I, first of all, I wanted to be 1501, but 1501 was taken, so I had to go 1503 <laughs> was too much, so I said 1502. No, yeah, it's kidding. Actually, 1502, that was a very beautiful year because that was the year when my country, Nicaragua, was discovered. So uh, that's when everything got started. So I want to create something in Nicaragua, something to screen the name. And what a better name than that, that, that year that we got everything back to, back to it is. Absolutely. It would be like in America starting a cigar brand called 1776. A really critical, important year in the history. Something Indeed. major happened. That's what, I'm still attacking your brand though. So 1502, okay, the year Nicaragua was discovered and, and, and since then has grown into a really amazing cigar producing country. That's fine. But a lot of people make cigars in Nicaragua. Yes. Okay. There's In fact, Nicaragua is the number one cigar producing country on the planet right now. Uh, yes. Well, outside maybe of Cuba, but they sell to the rest of the world. When it comes to Nicaragua, what the hell makes you so special? Like there's these guys oh. making cigars in Nicaragua. They're all from pre-embargo Cuba, but you're just Nicaraguan. Why are you able to blend cigars for the rest of the world over some of these guys? Well, it's very simple. I mean, I, I, in the end, a cigar is a cigar. So why can you create with a cigar? And how to do that, uh, I always compare it with cooking, for example. Mm -hmm. you no, know, how many, how many chairs are in the world? Hundred thousands, I don't know. How many great chefs are in the world? Right. Oh, you just narrow to the, to so, the yeah. pyramid. Between so, regular chefs out there and the great, and the, the world great renowned chef. chefs. I know. Let me tell you this, team. All the chefs use the same rough, uh, rough materials. Yes, yeah, same ingredients. Same ingredients. Everybody, there's no different in, in with the tobacco as well. So, what can you do with all those uh, 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 ingredients to make something wow, something that screams, oh my God, this is what I'm looking for. This is beautiful. Yeah. Compared to somebody else that cannot. And that's what calls something very simple. Talent. Talent. Either you have it or you don't. That's true. And we've <laughs> seen a lot of brands who think they have it and haven't had it. Because today you see brands come out. Here's the average shelf life of a boutique up and coming brand. It's like 18 months before the brand folds over. You're almost into 10 years of 1502 Ooh, at this point. Yes. Next year will be a 10th anniversary. And which, if you can imagine, something very special, something very beautiful. It's coming over. We have been working for quite a year. So just wait, hold your horses for a couple more months, and we will be surprised. 
So you, your defense is pretty good of your blending. You say you got the talent or you don't, right? And, and you know, you work with the same raw materials. Everybody else does it. And I like the idea of proudly Nicaraguan, which is 1502 is. But what the hell about these cigars makes them so good that when someone walks into a cigar shop, they should take a 1502 off the shelf in addition to or over other brands that they've heard of and know, like your Olivas and your Padrones and your Fuentes and all this stuff. Why a 1502? Well, it's, it's many for many reasons. Not only the 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 name itself, in which it's you know it's that it's very easy to remember. Fifteen hundred two. It's not only a, you can say it in Spanish, English, in German, in in, Ch in Mandarin, whatever language you need to learn. <laughs> but also, once you try fifteen hundred two cigars for the first time, I guarantee you, you will never forget about it because we always come with something special. It's so it's somebody asked me the other day. It's how you come up with the flavors. I mean, flavors is another topic that I would like to talk later on, but it's very important. When we're doing the blending, we never look for the flavors. Normally, the flavor find us in the end. In the mm -hmm. process, we start with, with the concept. And from that concept, we develop everything else around it. And, 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 and that's very strong in that part. You know, a lot of blenders, they use different techniques of blending. Same as a, a different uh, chef or different uh, painters or right. different artists in that aspect. And, and for, for ourselves, it's very much of, of, the, of the, the concept itself. What are we looking for? What is missing out there? And just looking forward to how to reach it, how to find it. So you want to and find to... a hole in the market where, where people aren't being served currently and fill that hole with something well, truly proudly Nicaraguan. Yes and no. You said market. I don't blame for the market. I blame I, I, for yeah. myself, in which that's very different. Okay. Uh, you know, I always say there's two types of blenders in this industry. Mm -hmm. You got the corporate blenders in which they're very knowledgeable, even from the field, uh, what kind of seed, uh, how many uh, uh, sunlight uh, uh, you have a year. There's so much technique and the process and all that, but when they blend, they blend for a specific market. You know, mm -hmm. for example, if you're going to blend for uh, Mexico, they want to show you want to put a little more spice to it because in Mexico, of course, everybody right. knows they love their spice. Right. So, in in, in, in the, then you have the other type of blenders, in which will be more the, the artistic blenders, in which I would consider myself more in that aspect, in which uh, we blend for ourselves, and hopefully, we uh, the market actually enjoys in the end. So it's when you try something, it's something that we are passionate about. It's something that we love, that we put a, 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 a love, a, 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 a heart to it. And remember, as a boutique company, you only get one chance. If you don't get it right, that most likely it's going to cost you a company. Yeah. So we have to make sure that every step is perfect the way it is into the end. And it has to be something unique flavor uh, profile it has to be something that, that had never been in the world and when you try it like oh my god complexity all those characteristics that a cigar should have in my point of view and maybe some others don't have it right but let's go back to the point talent there is yeah, exactly back to talent and you're you talk about something we've talked about on the channel a few times and it has to do with the difference between art versus commerce or marketing, right? Some brands, like you said, they just make a cigar for the market and yes. they're like, ah, there's not enough $5 Connecticut. So we're gonna make a $5 Connecticut, but the artist blends for their palate. They blend yeah. for a specific purpose. And truly, if you guys are looking for a good cigar, you wanna get it from an artist. Just like if you want a good yes. painting, you want it done by an artist and not by an artificially intelligent computer program that just crapped out a painting because that's what that program does, right? It's the artistic side we're after and that's of what course. cigars are. Of course. You know, in, in cigars, it's a way of expression. Yeah. Every time you try, doesn't matter which other line, or even 52 cigars, when you try the M or Ruby, the Black Gold, 52 Nicaragua, the one we enjoy right now, or even the 52 Blue Sapphire, the one you enjoy as we speak. Everything is completely different. Everybody says, like, well, this doesn't taste like the other. Of course it doesn't taste like the one. It's not like I changed the wrapper and here's another product. No, yeah. we start from scratch and give it the time and the years necessary to develop it to where it is today. And to be able to do that, as, a, as myself, as a blender, I had to go through all the process. So when we get the blend and we work it, I, hey, you know, let's have it all different sizes. Let me try now. Let me try in three months. Let me try in 24 months, 38 months, whatever it takes. So when you go to the, to, to the humidor and you grab one of our, of our cigar, a 52 cigar or even Cachito, you know that I had checked all the different part of it, all the different process of it, and to make sure it's perfect. Even the Vitola we have chosen, it's not because, oh, yeah, that's the Vitoria is selling more in the, in the industry. Right, right. I remember coming out with the Lanceros, in which box press Lanceros, and which is very tough to find. And the time with the, 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 the 6x60s were, 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 were hitting, hitting the spot. <laughs> and everybody tell me, it's like, well, are, are you nuts? Are you crazy? You know, don't you read the market? Say, I don't care about the market. I do care for those people that believe like me that there's something out there that is not for the masses, but it's something special for themselves. 
And that is the key part of it. That's, that's why we go back to that one. The talent, not only creating the understanding, also there's people that want something different, yeah. something unique, something powerful, something fla- uh, 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 com- with complexity, with flavors, many, many characteristics that they might not find every day in everyday shop. I'll tell you guys, from my perspective for 1502, as I throw my questions at you, uh, I see a couple things. Not only amazing flavor, and for a brand whose motto is proudly Nicaraguan, it's more than just another Nicaraguan cigar brand to me personally, because it captures the nature of Nicaraguan cigars, but there is something unique in these blends. I know I can count on a 1502 cigar to give me a really amazing full flavor, but also reliable construction, especially in cigars that are regularly box-pressed as yours are. Uh, Really amazing flavor and construction the two most important things. And I'll tell you guys, if you haven't tried a 1502 cigar, don't let them pass you by. Look for one at your local cigar shop or go find it on the website. This is something that you can enjoy if you like that Nicaraguan flavor. It's not always gonna punch you in the face. There really is something for everybody. And your passion shows through. You talk about the talent, but I see your passion for cigars also shows through in these blends. Well, I mean, talent and passion have to go hand by hand. You cannot have one with the the other. And and that's very important. I mean, it's like I said before, when we create something, it's not for, uh, we are doing it for, for the market, actually hoping to actually enjoy it, but when I'm blending, I'm blending for myself. So yeah. it has to speak there with a passion. When, when you grab one of our product, you're like, oh my God, I can I can feel it, I can taste it. Yeah. I can I, I can I can uh, see the aroma of, of that passion as well. And that's has a lot to do with it. I, very interesting you said, probably Nicaragua. Let me ask you, how many Nicaraguan products you see out there today? Uh, more than I can count. There you go. More than how, I how many Nicaraguan faces you actually see? Not any. It's all it's all Cubans who came over from Cuba. Like that. It's literally our family yes. is all the way back to pre-embargo Cuba, and no Nicaraguans. I can. I don't. I'm gonna insult anybody I know from Nicaragua. You're the only Nicaraguan like guy who didn't come from Cuba and move to Nicaragua that I know in the industry. Well, Joya Nicaragua. Don't forget about that one. Joya yeah, Nicaragua. Joya Nicaragua. And, we yeah. show the respect and love uh, to that family in which they have done a great, great job as well. But I'm one of the few faces in the Nicaragua industry. Oh, I remember yeah. the first time we met with Don Nestor Plasencia. And he told me, Enrique, there's so many people taking proud of our product everywhere in the world. How many Nicaraguan faces you see? Not there. If you can become uh, like an like ambassador for Nicaraguan tobacco, you know, uh, somebody that can reach out uh, uh, to different parts of the world and, and give a, a little seed of, of, of a land to everywhere. That's something that no one can take it away from you. Yeah. And knowing your passion for your country and the passion you have for, for the tobacco, and we are able to unite both of them, there's something, I'm sure you can make something great. And the rest, leave us to us because we have all the tobacco and all the knowledge that you can imagine. And you know what? I did trust Don Nestor Plasencia, and here we are almost 10 years after, and we only only getting started. Well, guys, don't let 1502 pass you by. I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me today, brother. It's a blast. Thank you very much. And like I always say, guys, relax. I enjoy. That's right. And guys, post a comment down below. What is your favorite Nicaraguan cigar? And if it's not 1502, make sure that you get a hold of that amazing flavor. And check this video out on Cigars Daily Plus because we're always working to make it better on Cigars Daily Plus. Guys, this is Tim and Enrique. We're both signing off for Cigars Daily. See you all in the comments.